What up, what up, YouTube? This is your boy Cam Lander here, back at it again with another video. And today, 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 we'll pick up where we left off in Garfield. So today, we're feeling a bit good, you know, the performance is really good in the game. Made some adjustments, finally figured out the wheel. Yes, sir. Um, I need to look up a bit more info on certain things, but I think I got it down. In terms of just the wheel down. Um just come forget. Oh. Okay, so if you guys remember in the previous video I was stuck and I couldn't could not get past this area. Finally figured out how to just now. By a great accident. So we're gonna get past this area right now and see what's all about it and let's this game sometime. Let's just go. I hope nothing crazy happens. I'm not really in mood for crazy. Um, I need to find health, definitely. But we just gotta have to bounce and roll. I don't remember how we lose this much health. So we're just gonna go. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. Take your time. Yeah. Still... Uh, there should be something to reach in our health. Research station. Hold out. Time to get back to the world, eh? Yes, ma'am. It is time to get back to the world. Ah. Uh, I like that. On dock. Grab drive. I feel like we're gonna need to grab drive. Uh, let's see where they go now. There. There's been a spear. You see, as soon as I go to pick up it here, I saw it a while ago. Target engines. Ah! Come on. Pull it around, pull it around. Got him, got him. Got him until. Uh, 
I'm gonna blow him out of the sky if I'm not really careful. We need to pull it down. So, pull that down. Pull that down. Alright. Oh. We are too close. Hold up. Alright. We need to bring it out and Three lap around. Alright, so we need to pull out that. it out. Power it out. Around we go. Yes. Okay, Let's keep it steady, guys. Pull up. I'm not 100% used to it as yet, so that's why I kind of, you know, but we are there, guys. All right, Captain. Where are we headed next? Okay. Let me check some stuff out. And get a couple of it. Alright. Ah, 
Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? I guess she's saying that. Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. Yeah? You know, that's actually kind of tempting. I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Maybe hit me up there later. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I... Next time you're in Sidonia, hit me up. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. All right, guys, we are out of here. Oh. It's about time. Come on, sleepyhead. <laughs> Come on, sleepyhead. <laughs> She's a snarky one. All right. There we go, guys. Turn to the launch of the entire. Kinda looks different. Kinda looks brighter. You're back. Did you? <laughs> we have it. Lately, Go I ahead. find myself spending Do more and more time here. This has it's appealed to energy me. Spiked this, this is but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added. Then it harmonizes. Speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here, you've earned this. 
Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it, no other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. All right, so I'm going to go through some of these now. And then uh, we probably can head out. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. His mind is always somewhere. But there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, oh, I'll never hear the end of it. Maybe another time. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. I think you need to get rid of some I of that I have to gear. say, I'm impressed. You've adjusted to this whole endeavor better than I would have expected. Not that that's any sort of assumption about you, of course. There's just... Well, this is a lot to take in. We probably should have spoken before now, but I didn't want to get in the way. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Wow, it's a lot of conversation with Noelle. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. I cannot wait to meet him. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Yeah, kind of walk in now. Just uh, kind of hold up. Get up. Yeah, we're supposed to be at pace with her, I think. We're just getting a bit of a tour. We're supposed to get a tour before, but we didn't get the tour, so we're getting the tour now of the theme, and uh, it's going. You can, I, I can say it's going. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full.
Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. All right. Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for, a type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Oh, that's that's interesting. Oh right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something an energy surge some other phenomenon okay he did at the time well it's barrett we weren't sure if he was kidding around clearly he wasn't unfortunately that's what a lot of people report in these situations i'm not saying you didn't really see anything just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're gonna be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Okay. That's good to know. Stay safe, okay? All right. No slouching around. Got to... So we're heading out there now. Talk to that guy that, that's out there. I know, I, I, for me, I think when you walk around, it, it gets to see somebody walking. It's got to actually make it feel like. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila. 
for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. I think we should just jump into it now. I just get it over with. You ready to head out? Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay, let's go. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the gnat. Oh, I'm running late for the oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Security scanners, chemical snippers. Hmm. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Diplomatic visa? You got to be kidding me. 
Envoys haven't needed diplomatic visas since the colony war. Finally reaching a ship, guys. Captain, greetings. It's suppose I have time for a nap before we leave. Warping this it's interesting. Get back into the map. Okay. Right now. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. I wonder what's happened well, though. You're back. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his, like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. 
You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Alright, so we need to go and check... Basically... Oh. Yeah, I didn't see that. Alright guys, so, so far it seems like Barrett is captured, so what we need to do now is get access to his hair, but we don't have the necessary skill to do so, so what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna take on the mission while Barrett basically is toast for now. So in the next video we probably, we're probably gonna take on the mission and then we continue the Barrett mission after that mission, so this is uh, basically the end of this video. So thank you guys for being here, thank you guys for enjoying the content, please leave a like on the video if you have video and see you guys basically in the next one, peace.